a decorated, recently retired Navy captain is the third U.S. veteran to go missing during the Ukraine war, his family and friends have said. Grady Kurposi, who joined the Marines after witnessing the September 11 terrorist attacks while living in New York City, was last seen with his loved ones on April 24, family friend George Heath first said to CNN. Two days later, Purple Hearts veterinarian left his post to examine the sudden small arms fire, and Kurposi radioed his unit that the Ukrainian military were also opening fire, the family was told. That was the last anyone heard from him, Heath told CNN. State Department spokesman Ned Price confirmed on Thursday that it had been briefed on a third U.S. citizen missing in Ukraine. There are reports of another American whose whereabouts are unknown. Our understanding was that this individual had traveled to Ukraine to take up arms, Price told reporters. They were followed by family members of Alabama veterans Alexander Drukey, 39, and Andy Ween, 27, who reported them missing earlier this week. The State Department told Kerr Posse's wife, Heeson Kim, that he was being treated as missing because his body had not been found or identified, Heath told CNN. Kerr Posse, a captain who only retired from the Marines in November, had arrived in Ukraine on March 7, less than two weeks after Russia invaded. He went to help civilians to avoid getting into firefights said Heath, also a Navy veteran who served under Kerr Posse and lived in Wilmington, North Carolina, before leaving for Ukraine. For him personally, he has skills that he can give back, he emphasized. He wanted to go and help the Ukrainian people. He wasn't really planning on fighting, Heath said. It just happened that way in the end. The missing veteran had been deployed four times during his 20-year service, three of them in Iraq. He had won the Good Conduct Medal three times, the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medal three times, the Purple Heart Medal, the National Defense Service Medal and the Global War on Terrorism Expeditionary Medal, CNN noted. Heath is a great leader, said of the man who was his platoon leader from 2012 to 2014. He always led from the front. He always took care of his Marines, he said. The State Department on Thursday insisted reports of the men missing were yet to be confirmed and they had seen nothing to suggest they were being held by invading forces. Start your day with everything you need to know Morning Report delivers the latest news, videos, photos and more. To date, we have not raised this with the Russian Federation, Price said. However, he stressed that the Russians have certain obligations if the men were captured. Members of the Ukrainian armed forces, including volunteers who may be third country nationals incorporated into the armed forces, should be treated as prisoners of war under the Geneva Conventions, Price said. Prisoners of war must be afforded the treatment and protection appropriate to that status, including humane treatment and basic procedures and guarantees of due process, he said.